everyone, I'm AJ Hub, and you'll notice that I'm not usually, I'm not in my bedroom, which is my usual YouTube setup, but um, it's been a busy week for me, because um, I'm doing somewhat of a job, and I have an upcoming interview, so it's kind of hard for me to record when I'm still in the apartment, so I thought it'd be interesting to go back to how I used to do my own Stardust um, reviews which was in my car and I forgot like how much access or like how comfortable I am being in my own car just so I can talk without like quieting myself not that I want to quiet myself it's just I naturally lower my voice when I know there's other people around so I guess for now this might be my new setup but who knows yeah, yesterday, the No Way Home trailer for the upcoming Spider-Man movie dropped when initially um, somebody, I guess, leaked a full trailer the day before, which was not expected. And I avoided everything about it because I want to see this for myself, this trailer, without like any knowledge. I just want to go watch this blind because this is probably one of my most hyped movies considering all the things that have been talked about with the movie especially regarding how this is going to be part of the multiverse I think or like it's going to be multiple universes so that means we are possibly getting the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and even the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man I don't know it's just it's hard for me to trust sources when, regarding uh, the Marvel movies so I just avoid them so let's get to it let's watch the new no Way Home trailer. Ah, uh, theme. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize uh, females. They're so cute. I, uh, both God, Tom yes, and Zendaya and Peter and I. Just stay up here all day. It is so crazy down there. That's right, folks. Yeah, yikes. <laughs> the previous film. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. Thank you, J.K. Simmons, did. for coming the back. The drones that are yours. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everybody knows you don't really have to hide or... Oh, okay, that's fine. For the record, I oh, never wanted to lie to you. Oh, that's adorable. Beth, how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. Oh, man. I've just been thinking about how to Amen. fix all of this. So, Peter, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, yes. sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Stephen. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. When Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. That's right. Oh, okay. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. Until we did. The entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. Oh. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really Stop. Oh, oh, no. oh. <sighs> Just happened. Down good. We tampered with the stability of space time. Oh my god. Multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. Problem is you trying to live two different lives. Yeah. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. <laughs> yeah. Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Oh, Hello, Peter. Yeah, this is definitely just going to be a movie for Spider-Man fans that grew up with Toby, Andrew, and Tom because 
I'm hyped. There's so much to talk about, so like what to cover first? Well, the whole thing about uh, Peter and Steven, I wonder if they're going to get a dynamic because Peter and Tony's father-son father duo is just so iconic, so I don't know what you could do with now Peter and Steven, maybe be like a, like a uncle-nephew duo, or just a teacher-student duo, I don't know what that, what that's going to hold. Um, I love the memes that are going around saying that both Wanda, Loki, and now Peter are creating the multiverse unintentionally, and Doc and Steven's just like, I hate my job. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I can't wait for the Peter and MJ moments because they're just so cute. I love Zendaya. I love Tom. I love their portrayal of Peter and MJ. And I can understand Peter's worry about like what happens if everybody he loves forgets who he is. Like, so many things happen because they found out who he was. So he doesn't want to lose that. I can completely understand that. Oh my gosh. But the main thing is seeing Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2 being in the MCU. But I'm so scared that they're going to pull another Pietro from WandaVision move. Yeah, like I was one of those fans that was annoyed that it wasn't Pietro from the X-Men movies. But at the same time, I got over it. But if they do the same thing in the MCU... I'll be mad, but, like, I'm not gonna, like, worry over it. Oh my gosh, and they were playing the theme song. This is going to make me watch every single Spider-Man adaptation in order just to prepare myself, because going, when I go into that theater to see No Way Home, I'll have, like, all the memories and knowledge of all the previous Spider-Man films from all different media and just be hopefully have a m much more fun experience because oh my gosh i love the toby mcguire spider-man so that's what i grew up on even before i became a marvel fan it's just a movie that i movie trilogy that i knew uh re-watching them i my love for it grew i did not watch the andrew garfield movies just because i was one of those fans who were like oh but toby mcguire he's the superior spider-man i'm not gonna watch it and then i heard like it wasn't that great but now that we have no way home i'm probably going to cover even the andrew garfield movies just watch every single spider-man movie every maybe even every single spider-man show which won't probably happen because i'm terrible when it comes to committing myself to shows and movies to binge <laughs> Uh, but I'll try. I'll try. That's all that matters. There's just so much to, like, think about, to cover. The worst part is I haven't even watched the new What If episode from today. Ugh. Maybe when the next trailer for No Way Home premieres, I'll have more to talk about. But when I get home, I'm going to read up on, like, what people are saying about the trailer. Like, what this could mean for comic fans, movie fans, just in general. Just, ah! There's just so much in that trailer. Announcement. I am dropping another video this week. It's a very exciting one because it's my first collaboration video with one of my Starvenger friends. I've sent out an invite to everyone saying, hey, if you ever want to do a video on my channel, just let me know. We'll pick a movie topic show and we'll just talk about it. And one of my friends decided to pick a movie that the Star Avengers and I watched together and it was an experience so I look forward to posting that. What did you guys think of the No Way Home trailer? Um, did you have any thoughts, theories? Let me know in the comments. I'm always reading comments every day. I'm, I'll try to respond to the best of my ability but until then I'll see you next time and I hope you're having a good day. Bye!